to scream. I wanted to jump up on the counter with a thousand euros in my hand and throw them out to the people. Here, go on, take the money. Take the money. Spend it on whatever you like. Drink, horses, bingo. Just go out. Have a good time. On me. Corrib Theater has just put out a brand new release, A Night in November, and we have got the absolute pleasure of sitting in with the star of the show tonight, Mr. Damon Cupper. How are you? We're doing well, thank you. Good. You, uh, you are playing the, the character Kenneth McAllister in the new feature. How is that for you? Yeah, it's quite a wonderful show. It's uh, A Night in November, and it's the story of Kenneth McAllister, but it's also kind of the world around him as well, so a lot of uh, auxiliary characters come in kind of a wonderful style of storytelling. So it's commenting on the situation as well as speaking for the different characters. It's a, it's a, it's a big show. Um, funny, heartfelt. Um, it's, you know, from where I'm standing, it, it seems very moving and, it's, and that's what I've heard, just very positive things. So I'm very, very excited to be part of it. I'm from Belfast. Oh, oh, that's different. <laughs> he went to his back, pulled the ship, fumbled around, and throw me a t-shirt. Here, put this on for God's sake. You look like the man from the welfare. <laughs> I want to say exactly what I want, but I wasn't telling him that. Being an American, were you able to connect with the character at all, Kenneth at all? Or, or is it something that you had to pull up from deep within you to, to uh, relate to him? Well, it's, I think, that's one thing about this play itself is that the human element of it, mm -hmm. I think it relates to many people um, just issues with family, the marriages, um, the actual history of like Northern Ireland. It's like, yeah, as an American, for my family particularly, it's a long boat ride and there was a lot of, you know, Welsh and Scottish and Irish and English. So a lot of those stories and cultures come together. You know, for me, even being able to wear a tie that's a family tartan is kind of has a connection because particularly Northern Ireland, it was a lot of kind of Scottish that had moved there mm -hmm. and it has a different feel to it. And so that leads to some of the tensions. And for me, part of that was very, very closely connected to my own family and lineage in this case. I looked at my wife and I thought, she's beautiful. Yeah. She's beautiful. You've become a habit, like my jammy daughters or my own special monk. We exist together. How did you uh, come in contact with Corrib Theatre? What, what brought you to the theatre? Did they contact you or did you contact them? Well, um, I'm part of the theatre community in Portland, Oregon. I'm a member of um, Third Rail Repertory Theatre. Mm -hmm. um, and with Third Rail, there's kind of core company members. And usually shows are based around the particular qualities that these performers offer. Mm -hmm. And with Corrib Theatre, uh, when Goodbody had seen a performance, uh, and with Gemma as well, and had thought, I'd be great for this role. And so two years ago, I think, maybe two and a half years ago, did a reading of this play, A Night in November. And even the reading, it seemed to be a, a, a very magical um, spell that it casts. Yeah. And so they thought, it'd be wonderful to do this as a full production. And this is, I believe, the second production they've done. As you see, it's not very large scale, um, moving on to larger, plays, um, but still keeping kind of a core connection to modern Irish theater mm -hmm. and the voice, particularly from that region. Mm -hmm. Well, I, it's been a pleasure to talk with you. I really appreciate it. And like I said, the, the performance you gave tonight was something that I really wasn't expecting. The way that you went from character to character, it was absolutely fantastic. It was a brilliant performance, and I really appreciate you spending the time with us to get a little, to know a little bit more about you. Well, thank you, and it's so wonderful being able to spend some time and hopefully build community this way as well. Good luck to you. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. You. We'll talk to you soon. Right. We'll see you, everybody.